Hello everyone, I hope we are all doing well. So welcome to Unbox with Bruce and today we will be unboxing this item right here. So it's the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man Anti-Oc uh, version. Uh, I'm not sure if it's called armor. I'm not really a big Marvel fan. I apologize, but it just so happened that I super or really like this particular um, Spider-Man outfit. Um, so anyway, um, before we open the box, let's check out the box first. So on the front, we have a very nice um picture here of the item now for sh figure arts they're actually known for um, putting the actual item on the cover of their um uh, like box so they it, it's this is not like an artist rendered um artwork this is the actual sh figure arts itself and then we have like a very big name of spider-man right there um for the specific name i don't see it but it's probably um, something in this Japanese here, but this is the anti oc armor. And then we have like a very nice sticker here, a Disney logo or Disney sticker. I guess this is like a an exclusive version. I don't know, but there's the sticker right there and the nice Spider-Man logo um, up here on the upper right hand side. And on the left, we have again a very nice um, picture of the uh, item. Now, hmm. All right, now the item doesn't actually glow. It's just that they added some effects there. And then on the back, uh, we have like a very, um, again, I always say <laughs> very nice, but it's actually very nice. Um, we have like a couple of poses that like it, it, it shows us the different poses that we can do with the item. So you can like do a uh, web shooting action. Like um, it, I believe it comes with like a different pairs of eyes. So that's why you have like the, you, you get to see that right there. And then um, we have like Spider-Man right there, then him crouching right there. Then some Japanese text that I don't understand. All right, and then at the bottom, you have like some nice sneaker and legalese and some blurb and stuff. And on the right side, you have like a very nice, um, on the contrary, I don't think this is the, I don't know, I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments below, but this doesn't look like SH Figure Arts. Um, like a SH figure arts item because it's supposed to show you or supposed to like you obviously see the joints and stuff but in this case I don't I don't know maybe this is the first for SH figure arts that they don't put the actual item on the cover um, but again um, let me know in the comments below and on the top oh it does say spider-man anti-ox suit all right so let's go ahead and open the box. So which side would we open it from? Let's do it from the uh, right, like I normally do. Now let me just use a cutter to open up the box. Now I'm not sure if I have like a prying tool big enough to fit um, on the side. Hold on. This is something that I I wasn't prepared to uh, do. I don't want to like ruin the box, so I uh, wonder if I have... Let me see. Just give me a sec. Let's see if... Oh, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. I was supposed to use Kenji sword, but I figured um, Kamen Rider Drive type wild sword or Kamen Dr Rider Drive sword would be much um, stiffer. So we'll use that to insert here on the side. So what we'll do is we'll insert here and then twist. So that helps us, us eliminate the possibility of tearing the side or no um ruining the box as much as possible we want to keep the uh and i think i've teared it a little bit because i don't have a ruler <laughs> no you can actually use a ruler to open this up so as you can see it teared there a little bit um there but on the like what you can do is you can get a card or something that can fit 
um, here, the side of the box. Now, the only problem is that uh, the, this particular SHF box is kind of small, so I don't really have like a prying tool that fits that particular um, size. So let's just put Wild's sword back with him, because he might be sad without his sword. There you go. So let's open the box now. Let's see. Wow. All right. So let's put the box on the side for now. Then we have a survey. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to get something if I fill the survey? So that's one of the papers. And then the instruction, um, the things that you get, you can swap. Oh, it looks like you have like two different heads that you can like interchange it with and then we have like a peg hole on the back so probably this is something that you can use for yeah you can use a stand with and this is what we get with the figure so we have like one two three four five six six different oh no this is like a prying tool i think to get the the back panel but um so we have like five different uh, web effects if that's what you call it and then um, I don't know what this is for like this small thingy but we have like five set of hands it's very nice so we can like make a lot of different things or have spider-man do a lot of different things different expressions different moves with those set of hands and then we have we finally have like spider-man right there he looks really good Okay, so now let's open the box now with the shf um, you kind of have to be careful with opening the um, the clamshell because if you do it really fast or um, you know you're not careful things start popping out then you know you lose stuff especially with the Kamen Rider stuff because it comes with very small accessories sometimes you know if everything pops out um, you might lose them so anyway we have like spider-man right there now, i know that the movie is coming out um next month so if you're a spider-man fan this is definitely one of the figures that you should have i think you can still like get this from like ebay or something or like somewhere um all right looks really really good the paint detail everything we don't see any paint or at least i don't see any paint leads in my case so that's one of the things that sh figure arts is really good at with you know painting their items or their figures and for the head really good now let's see um let's see let's check out the articulation of this figure now for the head, can like look up that far, which is very nice. So we have like a, a hinge there. Yeah, it's not a ball joint. So you can see that on camera, I think. That particular joint. So you can't really like wiggle it around because it's not a ball joint. I think it's a straight peg if I'm not mistaken, yeah, right there. So that's what connects the head to the body. So it makes um, the head replacement easier, although you lose a bit of like expressiveness with the character because you know, you can't tilt the head uh, side to side, although you can like has a farther reach when looking up and you can look down that much, which is very good yeah we don't see a lot of gaps so that's nice right and then for the uh ooh, seems kind of easy to pop out i don't know but that's okay i guess and then for the shoulders we don't have like a bicep cut but we do have like a very nice um butterfly joint right there wonder how far it can go well, it's not really that far. But I guess that would work. And then we have like a double jointed 
elbow right there and then for the wrist um have like that joint right there now there's on the forearm you actually have like a an armor piece right there wonder if you can see it right there yeah so it might hinder you from doing the uh like i don't know like that pose or him like the iron man blast pose because you can't move this hand upwards i believe oh it's made of uh yeah it's limited this is actually made with soft plastic okay but i think it's still it would still limit it and the problem in the future is that you might bend or permanently permanently bend that particular part right there if, you know if you put your um, spider-man on a particular pose on your or display your your cat your spider-man on with a particular pose in your cabinet for a long time so that might make the uh, this part permanently bent because since it's or they're using a soft plastic with that one and then uh, for the body we have don't really have like a lot of movement there you can just wiggle it a little bit but uh, we have like a very nice uh, backwards and forwards crunch and what's really nice is that the paint job that they did also extends to the uh, abdomen area so you don't lose any of that aesthetic when you move spider-man around or as you like pose him and then next is that we have like another joint here on the waist or on the yeah on the pelvic area and then for the legs it's actually very very nice um we have um i think i've seen this in other reviews there's like a butt flap right there <laughs> sorry there right so if you move or when you move the character uh this particular um but peace comes with it but you know if you make him split it looks really awkward as you can see there it bulges out but if you do uh, forward kicks makes the figure look better like so right so you can ha have him kick forward think only that much yeah then we have like a leg cut right there so that adds to it's a bit stiff I don't know if I can like wiggle it around. I'm a bit afraid because you know when you have figures that have stiff joints, you don't really want to force them. But uh, I do see that on the um, uh, right leg or the left leg if it's facing that word. So on the left leg, I can uh, easily like twist it around. Uh, for this part or the other leg, it's a bit stiff. I don't want to force it because I don't want to break my figure. All right, so. For the uh, knees, they're double jointed. And then um, you have a little bit of movement on the feet. Um, I think you can only extend it that far backwards. I wish I could like do a, I don't know, like a straight um, bend or can like, push it further, but that's not the case. And then we can like wiggle it from the side, side to side. <laughs> Sorry, I stuttered. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, that's good. And then we have like a toe joint right there. Which actually, looks really good as well. I wonder how easy it is to um, replace the hands. So let's see. Ooh, something fell. Oh, so you have to be careful with replacing the hands because the wrist armor uh, falls off it's a separate piece like this particular um, thingy that we were talking about earlier it's a separate piece so if you want to do like a spider-man web shooter thingy then 
Oh, it's actually super easy to replace the hands. So this is made with soft plastic. Now, the older SH figure arts would actually be a pain to <laughs> replace the hands. So that's nice. I don't think we can like stretch the... Oh, we do? We can! Okay, that's, like... that's nice. Okay, let's see what the other hands... Or what are the other hands that we have. So we have the... I don't know, like an open hand. That's the you rock hand. And we have this open hand. Again, like uh, we mentioned earlier, this comes in pairs. So you'd have both. So this would be the web grabby grabby hands. Let's put, let's put Spider-Man down for a bit. So that's the uh, one that grabs the um, the web. And this one, he has like a web holding hand. I guess you can use this to have him hold um, swords or other accessories. Now it's really nice how they have like the separate colors for the um, the hand and then like an armor piece which is on a deeper black. And last but not least we have the um, I don't know um, open palm and just like stop. I don't know. I wonder where we can like peg. I don't think we can like peg it anywhere. I mean what I'm referring to is uh, the web shooters. So I'll replace the other hand as well. Because I wanted to... Oh, that's what I was talking about. Hold on. Okay, I'll just look for it later. know that I said it's easy to swap out the hands okay you just have to find the right angle so yeah now um, the uh, wrist armor popped out I have yet to find it but yeah it makes it uh, without the wrist armor makes it uh, or you'd have more liberty when it comes to you know posing the wrist part like what you see right now but if you have like the wrist armor, you'd notice that you'd be a bit limited when it comes to the articulation. Okay, so I wonder, I wonder if we can do the Spider-Man pose thingy. Ken, I do apologize. I'm not super familiar with the cool poses of Spider-Man, but... Yeah, can pretty much do that. Then for the web effects... Uh, we have this one right here. A short... Um, web thingy. I'm not sure what it's called. Again, I apologize. The other one is this part, which is a longer thread. Um, I don't know how to put it on the wrist. I guess... I don't know if there's a hand that can like grab it. I guess I guess you can insert it like so like before you insert the hand um, maybe it's something that you can try out I think you can just insert it behind the wrist so that you can do the web shooter thingy and then what else and then we have the super long And 
this is a pain to take out. Oopsie. Where'd it go? Okay, so we have... Oops, Spider-Man, I'm sorry. Oops. Spider-Man, hold still. Okay. So this very long spider web thingy. And then there's this other one, which is, I think, what he uses to pull his enemies towards him. Yeah. So that's like a lot of accessories right there that you can use. All right. And speaking of accessories, before I forget, one thing that you can um, do with your Spider-Man figure or get for your um, anti awk figure is this particular piece right here. So it's the this is the SHF upgrade or no the Karatoni the Karatoni um, anti awk accessory set or upgrade set. Now what this gives you are extra set of um, legs. So for its box, it's not really that special. We don't see anything, any branding at all. But uh, we do see um, some... Oh, it's supposed to, you're supposed to hair dry it? I don't know, but we'll see. It's a, like hair drying a figure. Um, it's supposed to make it um, much easier to attach. Oh, I like, I like this one. I'm probably gonna use this as like a prying tool. And then we have like a couple of stickers right there. And then I wonder what this is. I think this is uh, just a bubble wrap. Or is it? Is it supposed to be anything special? No. Okay. That's cool. Let's put this aside for now. And then let's see what we can do. First, uh, we probably have to pry this back open. I wonder how we can do that. Oops, Spider-Man. Please don't be difficult. Or am I doing it wrong? I think I'm doing it wrong. So there's a, on the back, you can see that there's like a small peg hole right there and then there's like a, a bit of a space that you can insert this prying tool with I think that's where you insert it then you pop it off it's that easy now the problem is keeping this small piece because you know if you don't or if you're not careful losing this would be very easy it would be very problematic. Your Spider-Man is not going to be the same. Okay, prying tool. Okay. So we have four um, sets or four not four sets, but we have like a set of four legs. Not sure if my English is right. These are the Takaratoni legs. It's very nice. Let's see if the colors match up. Uh, not really, because this is like bright yellow and this is like gold uh, yellow. And then for the black part, um, it's close. Yeah, it's close to uh, the abdomen black. Yeah, but this has like a more of a gunmetal um, finish to it. It's not the same black as. Um, sorry, I wasn't careful with putting Spider Man back. But it's not the same color as the anti awk suit all 
right. So this is super duper cool. So you have four of that. The next is we have this particular thingy right here that we pegged on the back of Spider-Man. Yeah, I wonder how it works. Uh, I wonder if it's we're supposed to. Um, oh, I think it's supposed to be like this. It's a square peg, but on the back of a Spider-Man, of Spider-Man, you have like a hexagonal shape. So just give me a sec while I try to do this off cam because it's really hard to put it on camera. So that's probably why it has to be heated first before we try to put it in. Okay, anyway, it's not fully inserted yet, but that's how you can put it right there. Or the other way to do it is we insert the legs first and then um, work from there. But oh yeah, probably have to uh, insert the legs first and then for some reason. Oh, that's that was easy. Okay, I thought it's gonna be like super duper hard. We'll insert it one at a time. Huh. Let me just do that off camera again. So while I'm doing this, um, if you're a Spider-Man collector, um, how many Spider-Man figures do you have? This is actually the first um, Spider-Man figure that I got. And probably would be the only Spider-Man figure that I'll have. cool one more and we're done so looking at um, how to join this it seems like this is a 3d um, printed I'm so sorry I'm taking so much of your time just putting the Takara Takar Tony legs together <laughs> and I have like three out of four legs so just just bear with me no I'm supposed to skip or pause but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna do this while recording so that you can be with me through the pain and misery of assembling the, the legs. All right, so there it is. Finally, um, we got the uh, legs installed. 
all right you know it looks doesn't look much at the moment there you go but once we have it attached to spider-man i'm sure this is gonna look super cool now what i figured is that we probably need to use um, this extra item right here that we get in the box oh, oops oops my camera won't focus hold on there it's like an extra peg hole that you can let's insert it on the back something that we can uh, attach to spider-man's back like so wait okay so we don't want to lose that um, extra piece let me do this off camera again Okay, that was easier and faster to do. <laughs> All right, so let's attach the the car Tony accessory. Don't know if it's gonna fit, but it does. Um, I think it's supposed to. We're not supposed to have this, but anyway, just for the us to be able to um, get it attached, we included that peg. Oh, okay. It doesn't like it. would have trouble with inserting it <laughs> okay let's put it back okay now this review or this unboxing is botched there for some of the legs it actually feels a bit loose but once you get it set up it's gonna look super duper cool Okay, so I'll just uh, probably fiddle with this and then just you know, show you how it looks like in the pictures or in the thumbnail. But anyway, um, overall, the Spider-Man is good. Um, again, if you're a Spider-Man fan, this is probably one of the must-have figures that you should get. All right. Now just for some quick size comparisons, here he is next to a uh, Marvel Legends uh, Thanos. So he fits really well with Marvel Legends. And finally, although this figure of mine is already loose, here is next to a Kamen Rider Drive type Wild. So they're pretty much the same size with the SH Figure Arts Kamen Riders. So I guess that's it for this very messy unboxing and review. Like, yeah, <laughs> should have probably planned this better, but I still hope that you find this informative um, in case you get the item in the future. Um, again, be careful with replacing the wrist joints because there's a tendency that you lose the wrist guard so yeah um guess that's it for just a quick reminder um again thank you very much for watching stay safe be kind stay awesome and you have a great day bye